to i wanted to introduce you to um, uh, two terms that we didn't talk about but you might actually come across these terms and uh, when you are reading let's say books again you are going to see this uh, one is um, momentum correction factor and other is a kinetic energy correction factor okay these two terms should really uh, appear in any of the force balances or energy balances that you write but i have not been um, really uh, taking that into re consideration so let me just introduce them to you so the first one is momentum correction factor <clears throat> so this will come whenever we talk about an um, integral uh, force balance or integral energy balance hmm? the reason is that let's say um, we go back to our um, situation okay let's say the pipe flow and you have fluid that's flowing fully developed and now you know that the profile is parabolic okay then we define an average velocity as integral let's say if the velocity profile is given by u u dA divided by integral dA that's what you would have done to calculate your average velocity right now let's say we are worried about so let me write that as 1 by a something that you have integrated integral u d a hmm? let's say we want to calculate average momentum flux okay or not there's no point in telling average actually momentum flux We can calculate momentum flux either as an integral or we could just use our average velocity itself. Okay. If you do an average velocity, what would you uh, do? So, you, if you want to calculate momentum flux, you would basically take the volumetric flow rate times the, um, uh, sorry, not volumetric flow, flow rate, mass flow rate times the velocity, right? That's going to be the momentum flux. So, you would say that, okay, if, um, I have a, you know, a fluid of density rho is going with a velocity, uh, with an average velocity V bar. So, A into V bar is going to be my volumetric flow rate times rho will be my density times V bar is going to be my momentum in, right? So, you would simply write the momentum flux in as rho A V bar square. That's the momentum flux in. However, if you take, let's say, a small section, so I'll take a small section here, okay, and try to write this as an integral. So, this is momentum flux based on average velocity. But if I do momentum flux, as an integral, I will say it is rho times dA times some velocity. So, u into dA is going to be a differential volumetric flow, right? In a differential element, if I consider of cross sectional area A, u into dA is going to be my volumetric flow rate through that section, times rho is going to be density, times u is going to be my velocity, my um, momentum flux and integrated over all area is going to give me the uh, total flux and that is nothing but integral rho u square dA, right. So, what have I done? I have just calculated the momentum flux, okay, either based on an average velocity or based on the actual velocity and if I have done it using the actual velocity, I would have written down it as an integral, okay. The question is, are these two quantities same or not? So, if we have a flat velocity profile, meaning that if u was a constant, there is no question u equal to u average and everything will be same. 
okay but now we are saying that this the if the velocity profile is not flat okay if it's not a constant these two quantities in general will be different okay so that's because the integral so because we have defined v bar as an integral of u da we do know that uh, if i do v bar square that should really be 1 by a integral u da square that won't be equal to 1 by a square integral u square da right so they are not same actually i should write this How do I do this? V bar square is this and that is not equal to, um, I do not know. This is u square, this is not integral of u square dA. So, we can only write like that. V bar is, V bar square is not equal to 1 by A integral u square dA. Right. Average of, uh, square of average is not equal to integral of square. So, therefore, whenever you write down momentum flux, okay, you have to be careful. If you are writing down your momentum flux based on your average velocity, you are actually not doing the correct value. You will be making a, you will be making a difference, okay. So, that difference is um, denoted by factor al beta. Beta is the ratio of integral rho u square d a divided by rho a v bar square or that is simply 1 by a integral u by v bar whole square d a. Okay, this is called the momentum correction factor. Now, the question that I wanted to ask is, should you have considered beta in our previous derivation? And if we should have, where should have come? Where should it have come? Can you check? Hmm? Yeah, so where we basically wrote down our force balance, okay, I think on the right hand side we said it is mass flow rate times velocity, okay, so that was really the total momentum in and I said V is the average velocity, but writing down that expression, we have made an assumption that, you know, V square is actually uh, give, giving you the total momentum in, but that is not really right, okay, there should have been a factor that should have come, which that factor is beta. So, in our derivations, we have assumed beta to be 1, okay. So, therefore, that calculation is not exactly right. For what kind of flow would you expect beta to be 1 or closer to 1? Laminar or turbulent? Turbulent, because you know that the profile is much flatter, okay. So, the calculations are expected to be better for a turbulent flow rather than a laminar flow. We have made a similar error now in our burn, the energy equation also. Can you guess what that would be? Because we have estimated kinetic energy based on average velocity. Okay, should we do that now? Because we know kinetic energy can't be just average velocity square. In fact, let's try writing down. What would be the uh, kinetic energy, uh, you know, flow of kinetic energy, okay. If you do it based on average velocity, you would write it as um, flow rate, which is um, uh, rho into A into V bar into V bar square by so, mass flow rate into V bar square by 2 is the kinetic energy in if you do it based on an average velocity, but uh, if you do it over a differential element, so 
So you have a small area through which something is going with a velocity u, area dA, you would say that's rho times dA times u times u square by 2 and then integrated. Okay, so the quantity that you have on the right hand side is going to be the total kinetic energy in and that is the way you should have calculated, but you would simply write it as rho a v bar is the, uh, if you do it based on the average velocity, you would have done it on the left hand side way. Okay, so therefore you know that these two quantities are not same and therefore you define a kinetic energy correction factor alpha as integral rho u cube divided by 2 dA divided by rho a v bar cube divided by 2 and that means you have 1 by a integral u by v bar cube dA. Okay, so that is the kinetic energy correction factor. Should we have used the kinetic energy correction factor also in our previous derivation? Yes, no? Yes. Mm, where? So, let us write down our actual equations that we should have used. There, okay. We should have had a factor of beta b. There should have been a factor of beta a that should have given us our original uh, or actual uh, moment of flux and here I should have had an alpha a and I should have had an alpha b. Okay, And we have really said alpha a equal to 1, alpha b equal to 1, beta a equal to 1, beta b equal to 1. So, the flow, the calculations are better when these things are uh, closer to 1, the ones which we have derived. <coughs> Any questions? In fact, I have not tried, you could probably try if you introduce these factors, uh, would you be able to simplify the equations this way and get something extra or uh, does it become uh, impossible to simplify further? But the idea is clear, no, the idea of uh, kinetic energy and momentum correction factor. Okay. Uh, contraction you study by yourself, okay. There is uh, nothing really you can do theoretically, but uh, there are some arguments that you can see in the literature. So, If you have done your uh, assignment correctly, you might already have come across these words and so forth. 